All right, guys, what I'm going to show you is how to add UTM tracking to your Facebook ads. Now, this is really, really good for businesses and clients that want to get a top level view of strategically what their Facebook ad traffic is doing, especially for websites or businesses that are driving lots and lots of traffic from different sources. Uh, AdWords, maybe influencers, maybe organic, maybe content marketing. So using UTM allows um, tracking and a top level view of what that traffic is doing, what's happening, where they're dropping off, etc, etc. So Facebook's analytics is usually pretty robust, right? Within a 28-day conversion window, you can track leads, sales, any event that you're tracking for. But there are some limitations. For example, you can't track what products were purchased, right? So you can see how many purchases were made from your ads, and you can even see the purchase conversion value, so how much in revenue those ads brought in but you can't actually see if they bought the red shoes or if they bought the purple raincoats, right? It doesn't go down to that specific level. So you don't know if your Facebook traffic has a higher affinity to a certain type of product or not. Again, this is really important, especially if your clients have lots and lots of products. Likewise, I think as I alluded to before, the tracking window, within Facebook is 28 days, right? So that means that if you have a very high ticket e-commerce client or a high ticket client where things are selling above sort of $500, well, that conversion window is probably gonna be a lot longer than 28 days, which is gonna be a little bit harder to track, right? So this is where UTM tracking is really, really beneficial. So. Obviously you need Google Analytics for this and what we're going to do is create the essentially the the code or the the tracking code. So what we do is just Google URL builder, Google Analytics and we're going to click on this one here, campaign URL builder. And what you'll see here is I'm just going to pull up my website Okay, and so what you'll see here are some fields, and this is how we're going to create our UTM. So first we're going to use the URL that we're using for the ad. So let's say you're sending someone to 8Loop uh, Social. Well, you're going to use the same URL that you're using for your ad. And you're going to say campaign source. Obviously, this is Facebook. So this is all pre-populated because I was recently on here, but this will be blank, and you'll just punch in Facebook. Campaign medium, well this is CPC. And campaign name, well what are you naming this campaign? So let's say you're selling uh, raincoats and then terms. So this is mostly if you're using AdWords and then campaign con content. So you'll see here when we generate the code, the URL, it will have all of those, there you go, Facebook, CPC, Raincoats, Umbrella. So this is essentially the UTM. So what we're gonna do is copy all of this except for the question mark. So everything starting from UTM. You can either copy the whole thing or you just copy from the UTM and I'm going to take you into Facebook. So as you see here, we've started to, I've just started to build an ad here and under, sometimes this shows up under uh, advanced options. So it might be hidden like here. So you'll just expand it over here. And under URL parameters is where we're just going to punch that little piece of tagging in essentially. And so once we save this, and I'm not going to place this because I'm, I'm missing a whole bunch of information, but let me take you into Google Analytics so you can get a bit of context. Once you save this in Google Analytics, what you'll see is this will now show up under here. So you'll have 
Facebook slash CPC slash raincoats, and you'll see exactly what, uh, you know, how many hits it had, how many new users, the bounce rate for the this traffic, uh, the average sessions, and the, the conversion tracking, if that's what you're doing as well. Now, if you don't use UTM tagging, usually Facebook traffic will always show up as either referral or under organic. So that includes ads. So your Facebook ads will show up under Facebook referral um, or organic traffic. So if you're doing content marketing, that gets a little bit confusing, right? What did your content marketing generate in terms of traffic and sales versus what did your ads do? So this is actually super easy to set up. But the insights that you can glean from this is invaluable, especially if your client is heavy into optimization of their funnels, of their traffic, all of that good stuff. So that's essentially how you set UTM uh, tracking for your Facebook ads.